Hey guys, before I start this video, I would like to make a quick announcement about our Christmas giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube page, like our Facebook page, and find the picture on our Instagram and comment to your favorite Christmas movie. It's so easy and can win free Christmas stuff. We've got a lot of nice things. We've got a few of our um, 12 Days of Christmas items and some items from Chinatown and online. So if you're interested, please like it, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. Here's the video. Hi guys, welcome to uh, another video. Today we're going to show you how to uh, build a whole Lolita cord from Goodwill Materials and cheap fabric from Joann's. The fabric we found was a curtain, some cotton, and a hanky. It's also helpful to have a design before you attempt this, so you can kind of know what you're looking for. Okay, so the materials we need are a ruler, fabric scissors, pins, regular scissors, measuring tape, and some chalk. You're gonna wanna begin with folding your fabric up hot dog way, and then um, folding it over again to create a nice square for making the circle skirt. Okay, now that you have your um, skirt fabric folded up into a square, you're going to want to use this app created by Hand London called the Circle Skirt Calculator. And this will help you find the measurements that you'll need for um, your skirt. So you can see the measurements that we took for our dress form right here. And we're just going to take those and apply them to the fabric. So you're going to take your ruler and um, go around the corner and mark where the app told you to mark for your waist measurements. You're going to go all the way around that corner. Okay, now that you have marked for your waist, you're going to mark for the length of your skirt. The first thing you want to do is take a large ruler and mark down. Make sure you keep your measurements near so you can reference back to them because that'll make it a lot easier. So take your ruler and measure down from where you made your waist markings to make the rest of the markings for the bottom of the skirt. All of this information will be on the online app that I talked about before. Now you're going to want to grab your scissors and pins and get ready to pin and cut out the skirt that you've created. So just kind of pin around the edges to keep the fabric from slipping when cutting. It is so helpful. I hate when I like pin a skirt and then I cut it and there's a huge like zigzag chunk. You have to recreate it all again. So to save on tears and feels, just pin your fabric so it will not slip when cutting. So now you want to start cutting your fabric and just cut along the blue line that you created from before. Don't forget to cut out the top part so you can actually put the skirt on. <laughs> now that you're done with cutting, you can take out all of your pins and unfold your skirt to reveal your beautiful piece that you've created. Right here you can see me putting it on our dress form that we created the skirt for and I'm just kind of fitting it to see how it's going to lay on the petticoat and everything and doing some alterations if needed. I recommend that if you have a buddy, have your um, buddy put the skirt on you and ask them to pin where it should be tighter and loosen where it should be looser. But remember that you need a seam allowance of at least a fourth of an inch to be comfortable. Looking back at our design, if you remember, we have a very, very high waist and thick waistband. So here we're going to use the rest of the remaining fabric from the curtain and um, use that to make the rest of the waistband. We lucked out and one edge of it was already hemmed, so that was less work for us. 
Here's the dress so far. Um, in our design, we also had cross back shoulder straps that we added in later. The next thing we decided to do was make four inch ruffles to go all the way around the skirt. So here we're just marking down the white fabric and we're just gonna cut them out. Now you're just gonna take all the pieces that you've cut out, pin everything together and sew it all up. And after you've sewn everything up, you have completed your own DIY budget Lolita dress. Congratulations. Ta-da! Here's our finished piece with all our detail and everything is sewn together. We've also added the jewelry that we got before. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.